Hello guys, it is set video tutorial about how to create the nozzle for water jet pump. In previous videos um, we created the impeller and starter reins and in this tutorial we added a nozzle to, to this assembly and for this we will be using part design workbench and let's um, create this, let's go to sketcher and create the contour of our nozzle. Uh, we create the box and um, for this we have to set radius it is 100 150 millimeters radius it is impeller radius and uh, let's add the flange Uh, let's delete this line and uh, we have two lines and let's make uh, one line okay uh, so let's set the thickness of our pipe at has five millimeters thickness and let's set uh, dimensions of flange it turns the thickness of flange and length of flange it like um, flange and stator veins okay let's change the position and uh, we have to this set the same lane length mm, like stator reins flange how you can see um, they equal yes well, let's <coughs> delete this line and so now we have to add some lines uh, for um, our nozzle this line it is nozzle um, for this we have to set the dimension uh, some smaller than impeller diameter let's set the radius for our nozzle it will be 110 millimeters or some bigger yes it will be the length of our nozzle so we now we have to connect the nozzle and uh, flange part let's make the external surface it will be the thickness of our nozzle 5 millimeters okay let's change it to 6 millimeters I think okay it all random values of course So let's connect uh, our flange part and nozzle. We will be using the circle parts for this, for this and tangent constraint. Yeah. So let's set the tangent condition. Uh, looks nice, and. Um, also tanking condition between two circle parts <coughs> it uh, give us good shape of our nozzle uh, and 
let's repeat it for external um, surface of our nozzle. And we also set the tanging condition for this. Yep. Let's change the radius of our circle parts. It will be 110 millimeters, and for another, also 110 millimeters. And let's set to another circle part, also. Okay, it looks more nice now. Let's some correction for the shape. Okay. So now we have good shape of our nozzle. Okay. Let's set equal condition for two lines how can you see we can change the length of our nozzle okay um, for our sketch we have to make the revolve operation and how can you see it is our nozzle model and our assembly yeah uh, now uh, we have to make the holes for our flange yeah let's set the holes like in stator veins flange uh, we will be using also Sketcher Workbench and set the radius of hole. It was 6 millimeters radius on radius 163 millimeters. 65. Okay. Mm, let's check where we have the hole now um, on stator veins um, we can open the sketch and check the values in stator veins part okay um, we have set also in nozzle part yeah so let's make the hole for our nozzle flange make it some bigger okay set 11 millimeters length of hole yeah and uh, let's make the polar array uh, rotation axis choose and how can you see eight holes we are created in our nozzle. So now we can hide the uh, the impeller and starter veins, and now we have nozzle, and it looks good. Okay, uh, it finished. Yeah, we can hide the edges, and thanks for watching. Subscribe.